All right, uh, so I just got let out. My kidnapper set me free, guys. See, yeah, I'm in uh, the Anoka County Jail, but uh, I know all that happened for a reason. That's that's actually really cool. I was in there praising God. I'm like, thank you, God, because we're actually the National Action Task Force is actually uh, coming up with a law enforcement re-education program. So that is a prime example of uh, them violating your rights. They just, they're trained to trample over your rights. So uh, you guys just hopped on. That's just a colossal waste of time. You know, they booked and released me. And uh, they said that I uh, was, I, I obstructed I was that gave me an obstruction because uh, I obstructed their uh, their investigation. They were saying I was trying to avoid them identifying me because I gave them this ID, which is a lawful identification. This is a registered identification. It's an American national identification. We are recognized and we have all of our documents authenticated through the Department of State in Washington, D.C., all of our documents are this, uh, and and a copy of uh, one of the IDs is also registered. And also, um, my nation's embassy has sent out notices to uh, what was it? state patrol. All in all fifty states, all state patrols have notice of our nation's presence within within uh, the country. But uh, I uh, I'm so blessed, guys. And we got we got a we got a, a a gang of sheriffs about to walk in here right now. This is the highest office in the land. Is the sheriff's office? Hello. Hi. Thank you. Good. Yeah, the sheriff's office is the highest office in the land. Isn't that right, guys? You guys have hold the highest ranking office in the land, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys actually have uh, authority over judges. Yeah. You you guys are the highest ranking officials in a courtroom. Either. That's why they do everything by the sheriff's office. You have to when you go to jail when you get arrested, they have to bring you right to the sheriff's. They got to bring you right to the jail, county sheriff, county jail. They got to and, and that's why the sheriff's office is in uh, in every courtroom because they're the true law enforcement. But uh, you know what's cool is. I got some really exciting news anyways, but you guys will see. Um, God is so amazing. I'm telling you, all this is happening. In, uh, I just went from, like, I just feel so, I feel so blessed that I have all of you guys on my side now. And it's so empowering because I've been doing this just, you know, just doing it. And uh, now that I can show you guys how to deal with public servants, and I want to teach you guys everything I know, I promise you. And, dude, I'm gonna, I want, I'm, I've been working on a lot of things, and now through the National Action Task Force, we're working on a law enforcement re-education program, so we can teach these officers, you know what, They're, dude, we're on, we're one in the same, me and that officer, like, look, I, I feel this way too, because this is, this is how it is, we are, we, we're, we're one in the same, but we're on opposite ends of the spectrum. We're on polar polar opposites, but we are one in the same though, because he's looking at me from his point of view and all the laws that uh, he is uh, hired to uphold. He's uh, hired to enforce these. Uh, they're not. It's not real law though. It's statutes, codes, lim It's statutes, codes, regulations, and uh, I appreciate you guys for getting me out of there fast. Shift change, huh? Yep. Have a good night. All right, you too, sir. These were the booking guys. They booked me in and got they got me out really quick. But uh, these aren't that's not real law, guys. These statutes, laws, regulations, and, and uh, administrative laws that's not real law. And so he's looking at me, and I'm I've I've canceled all my governmental contracts. I've rescinded my signature due to the lack of full disclosure on their end. They, they, through threat, duress, and coercion, they make you uh. So it's shift change, dude. That's why I, the the gang, a whole gang of sheriffs just came in, and a whole gang of sheriffs left. So that's the fastest shift change I've ever seen in my life. Normally they chat. They must have had a 
slow night or something. But, uh, dude, he's looking at me from his perspective. So that's why I'm not mad. You know, he's he's been trained, uh, uh, you know, that those are the laws and there is no other way. Like, no. Those laws are accurate. When you contract and you submit and do you submit to their jurisdiction, those laws are valid. But I've canceled all my governmental contracts. I no longer contract with the government. And the contracts that I've allowed to stay are, are there because of a necessity. It's done through threat, duress, and coercion. Like, I have a Minnesota state identification. But I don't like carrying it on me. I don't want to bring that shit nowhere, but I do. I keep it in my van, and, you know, I keep put away but uh you know because then they they if you have that on you you're they're you're, you're their slave for real you're their slave and uh that's why they do see you see that right away oh what's your name what's the, 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 they gotta collect information but uh yeah i got so anyway like i'm saying he's looking at me from his perspective and he doesn't realize i'm outside of his jurisdiction he literally doesn't even have jurisdiction over me but he thinks he does because he's used to used to everybody being a slave but uh, so that's what the, the edu- 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 uh, law enforcement education program is going to do is going to reeducate and it's going to be required. It's going to be required b- through the people. The National Action Task Force is the police of the police. Okay? We the new law enforcement of law enforcement. And it's in the Constitution. It, you know, it's, you know, when when government goes rogue, it's up to the people. We appoint them. And uh we didn't appoint them to be our masters. We're their masters. We we appointed them to govern and to, to uh you know handle certain delegated positions of, of servitude. But anyways, I gotta find a ride home because uh, I'm out in Noka. I'm in the Noka, but uh don't worry about me guys. I am I'm alright. And uh, it was it was actually a good time to be able to. I love teaching. I love that. I love being. I love informing ignorant officers. I told him, like, dude, I'm not saying that derogatory. You are literally ignorant. You are ignorant of the law. I'm sitting here telling you the law, and you're telling me he he, dude. He was saying Supreme Court says, dude, you don't even know what you're talking about. You're just using Supreme Court as as a. Uh, as a as a overshadowing statement so that I'm a oh supreme court I'm not a fucking sh- I'm sorry I'm just not I'm aware okay I'm not going to just blindly listen to you cuz you say supreme court says and dude he's a lot of, some of it is right but I'm telling him that his jurisdiction is he's overstepping his jurisdiction but uh let me see thank you guys I'm sorry I don't pay attention to the thing Someone said you're my spirit animal, Courtney. <laughs> God bless you, sister. I, I I would love to teach people this. I would love to teach people what I know because you don't got any rights if you don't exercise them. If you don't stand up for your rights, you ain't got none. And these these uh, these public servants has been has been trained to trample, dude, trample your rights. Right underfoot, just ignore, and it's, it, dude, there are not words in any human language for, for the, for to describe the way I feel about how bad they violate people's rights. Dude, every person is a sovereign individual. You are sovereign from, from servant to a king. It does not matter. You can, you can look at that person. Okay. I, how I look at it, uh, you know, God created everybody. He said he created us in his image and likeness, right? There is a bubble that is around that person. That, that, that is that person's sovereign will. Not even God goes past that person's sovereign will. And they're sitting here. Okay, so if you imagine a person and there's a big bubble of light around them, we'll just imagine that there's a bubble of light. That is their domain. That is, They can decide whatever they want to do within their sovereign will. As long as they're not violating someone else's sovereign will. But for what the what the what these law enforcement officers do is they reach in and they fucking do to be. This is a violation. To grab somebody's arm and move them over one step. That is a complete violation 
of God given natural law. You cannot do that. You cannot make someone take a step because you want them to. You grabbing someone's arm and moving them over, that's a violation of natural law. That's a violation of God's unalienable God given right. They cannot do that unless you give them permission. Or you violate someone else's, you know, God, sovereign will. So that just that alone, okay, reaching into someone's will and grabbing their arm and moving them over one step is a complete violation of natural law, okay? And that, that is not okay. In my book, even too, if I've seen that, that shit is not tolerated. That shit is not okay. But they do way worse than that. Like, they just did me. They, okay, so they said, oh, we apprehended the suspect, we detained him, and transported him to confinement in the Anoka County Jail. Just because you change the name of a crime does not make it legal. I'll tell you what they did. They assaulted me, bound me, kidnapped me, and threw me in a getaway car and held me captive. Okay? That's, that's what happened. They are guilty of kidnapping. It's USC section 142, 141, 142. Oh, USC 18. Title 18, section 142 and 141 and 142. It's deprivation of uh, rights under color of law. Look it up right now. 18 USC, section 142 and 143. It's the deprivation of rights under color of law, under the cloak of law. They, they do it and they, they act like it's, you know, it's real law when it's not real law. And then they changed the name of the crime. They changed the name of the crime to apprehended. No, that's assault. To detain, that's, that's uh, kidnapping. When they detain you illegally, that's kidnapping. And then when, they, then when they bring you into a facility, they're holding you captive. I promise you guys. And they will be receiving a notice of a claim. Dude, I just made like somewhere in the four or five million dollars minimum just now for, for them doing this to me. But uh, anyways, guys, I promise you, stay tuned. This shit is, we're putting an end to it. And I'm not against law enforcement, but I'm against them violating our rights. That's what I'm against. And you know what? It's your guys' right to contract with the government. I'll show you how to not contract with the government. I'll show you how to cancel all your governmental contracts and live in the private. Because when you contract with the government, you're living in the public. You're pretty much, you're, you're a slave. You're a slave and that's your subject. Let me read some comments. I'm sorry, guys. I could talk forever. No. Freezes. I'm sorry. It's freezing. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm, I ain't got good service in here. So, sorry about that. Love and love. truth, yeah. What? John, you need a ride. I got you if you're close. Nah, I don't know. You, you probably not close to me, bro. I'm in Minnesota. I don't know. Is there any family member? Dude, who, who can come pick me up? I need a ride. I just check the bus. And uh, shit don't come till 6 a.m. And I ain't got no money on my account to take an Uber. You making waves. Gosh, thank God you're okay. I'm good. Couldn't stop thinking about you. God bless you guys so much. Dude, thank you guys. You're a hero. <laughs> Listen, okay, here's how I feel when you guys say that. I I I I I appreciate the sentiment. I swear I'm not I'm not knocking you guys. I'm so grateful, but I holler at God all the time. I'm like, God, you take all that. That deserves God deserves all that. God deserves all praise, glory, and honor because I'm only doing what He's telling me to do. Okay. So when you say I'm a hero, here's how I feel. 